don't have to worry about being crowded or none of that. Mm -hmm. You can go to work, get off work, save your money, like you're supposed to save your money. Now, the, 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 the phone deal coming up, own space. So, you know, you can do that. Same thing I'll tell you, try to tell you something. This is an interesting video because there's more to it and I'm going to show you. But I'm starting to see that some women who grow, grow up with loving dads make the same decisions as females who have daddy issues where their dad wasn't in their life at all. And that honestly doesn't make really much any sense to me. But anyways. I can't find it, but there was a comment on here where the dude was saying um, that life is like the best teacher. You know, my daddy can't always save me from, you know, learning in life or whatever. And he's absolutely correct. But here's the thing. My daddy has let me fall or my daddy has let me choose so many of my own routes in life. And I ultimately messed my own self up. I had a kid at 17. Like, I was still in high school. I wasn't 17 getting ready to graduate. Like, I was still in high school. Granted, I still graduated and graduated at a good number in my class, right? But that was the first thing. And I knew I broke my daddy's heart when I did that, right? Didn't stop anything. My daddy still sent me to college with my baby, like, still had to go to school, right? And then I turned around my junior year of college and got pregnant again. And my daddy was like, you know, these are the, the decisions you, you made, so you have to figure this out, right? Well, I was with my kid's dad for 10 years. Like, that's the only man I know, right? So a lot of my decisions were based off me being with my kid's father and had I not done that you're absolutely right Look, I would not have learned anything because I would have been riding my dad's coattail luckily my dad made me sit with those decisions and say hey like you're grown up now you have to figure this out and it wasn't until a few weeks ago when my baby daddy decided to disrespect my parents house and pull up at their house with the girl he was cheating on me with pull up at my parents house and she got out of the car that's when my daddy my daddy walked over to my car and my daddy looked at my my daddy was heartbroken like i could tell me being that heartbroken broke my daddy's heart. And my daddy looked at me and he said, there's no going back this time. Like there's, we're not gonna do this again. That man is where he wants to be. You will not continue to fight. You will not continue to lower yourself for him. And in that moment, I realized that my daddy allowed me to get as low as I possibly could before he stepped in. And I'm so grateful for my daddy for that. Okay, the more I listen to the story, the, the more I realize that it is not really much of a comparison to a female that has daddy issues or a woman that grew up without her dad or a woman who doesn't really know who her dad is, things like that. She decided at a very young age to leave the leadership of her dad and let, let another man lead her who is, from my understanding of what she's saying, the dad of both of her children for 10 years. She didn't just get pregnant by some random man and then be a single mother and then get pregnant again by another guy like a lot of women do in my community. She tried to replicate what she's seen her dad and her mother do their her whole life, which is basically be married and have a family. She wasn't married to him, but she was she was act, she was playing marriage basically. She she was with him and only with him, you know what I'm saying? And wanted to have a family with that guy. All in all, after everything she said, I think it's a good thing that her dad allowed her to come back to the house. And I mean, if you see the video of the house, it's a lot of space. He got a lot of space. Him and him and her dad and her mother got a lot of space in that house. My question is, how did you have a good example of a black man your whole entire life and still choose the wrong type of guy? Like y'all are probably the worst at picking a, a long-term man to have a family with, bro. And I say that respectfully, bro, for real. You would have saved yourself a lot of trouble if you just asked your dad 
when you started dating any guy, if that guy is a good candidate, if he don't approve, then maybe he's not the best candidate.